नमस्कार माय नेम इज सुदशील घोष एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई एम कवरिंग ऑटो डेस्क टिंकर कैड एंड वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट अनदर सर्किट टुडे वेयर वी विल ट्राई टू रेगुलेट द स्पीड ऑफ अ मोटर यूजिंग अ पोटेंशियोमीटर आवर जॉब इज टू इंट्रोड्यूस अ सिमिलर अरेंजमेंट लाइक अ रेगुलेटर दैट वी यूज फॉर कंट्रोलिंग द स्पीड ऑफ द फैन ओके सो in order to do that we will need to create a new circuit on our tinkercad desk dashboard so we'll go for create and we can go to a new circuit so as we are seeing here we are now into the new terminal this is the working area and on the right side of this particular working area you will see a lot of these elements which are there these are basic components and again we are going to search for certain power sources we will use a potentiometer which is similar to what is the real stat in electrical engineering we will use a potentiometer potentiometer looks as basically like a, a regulator okay so in order to run a motor we will need first of all a motor okay so we will take a dc motor and this is what the dc motor will look like okay so we have we have taken the dc motor then we are going to take a potentiometer so we just have to type the potentiometer here the potentiometer is here obviously now we will need other power source we will need a battery now for choosing the battery we need to understand one thing please understand this that in order to choose the battery we have to uh, understand or we have to consider the amount of power required to run a dc motor essentially in real life a dc motor runs on 12 volt battery but we don't have a 12 volt battery on my basic component so we'll use a 9 volt battery so we just go for a 9 volt battery here so we'll take this battery here and then we'll put it into the circuit okay now so see here is what the potentiometer is and if we zoom into the potentiometer and let us zoom in into the potentiometer you will see that this is terminal number 1 this is terminal number 2 and the middle terminal that is what we call as the wiper this is the indicator of the wiper and what our job is to connect this into the ground terminal or the negative terminal of the battery this terminal will be connected to the positive terminal of the battery and then we will try to run the motor okay so now so if i see the motor again motor consists of two terminals okay so if we try to zoom in properly this is the motor and in the motor we have terminal number 1 we have terminal number 2 these terminals are colored black and uh, and red but uh, you can see that it is named as terminal 1 and terminal 2 and not as anode or cathode so essentially a dc motor which you have does not have any anode or cathode if we just swap the terminals if you connect the positive terminal here and the negative terminal here then it will move in a particular direction if we swap these uh, connections we will get the rotation in the opposite direction okay so what we will have to do is uh, we will take the ground negative okay from here we will take the negative from here and we will connect it to terminal number 1 okay so let us zoom in to this particular uh, circuit design and what we have done is taken the connection from the negative terminal and we have connected to terminal number 1 of the potential meter all right now what we are going to do we will take the connection from the wiper okay and then we are going to connect it to one terminal of the motor there you are we have connected to this terminal and we are making it beautiful okay then we will take the connection from terminal number 2 and our job is to connect it to the positive terminal here okay so let us do that and we will take this connection from here we take this connection from here and we go here and let us go here and 
field. We have connected it to the positive terminal properly. And we can also make it beautiful like this. And whatever connections are made from the positive terminal, we will make it as red in color just for the sake of simplicity. And whatever connections are made to the, uh, the negative terminal, we will put it as black in color just for the sake of simplicity. It is, it is only for notation purposes. Okay, now if I if I really run this particular motor, what will happen? Let's see. Let us start the simulation, and you can see at this particular point of time it has got a zero resistance, and as I increase the wiper position, as I change the wiper position, the speed of the motor decreases. Okay, so this is the highest resistance that we have. And with the highest resistance, with the speed of the motor has decreased and with the lowest resistance, the speed of the motor has increased. So this is the way in which we can change the speed of the fan or the DC motor that is connected. Now here the question is, if I, let me want to, I want to make it look like a fan. How can I do that? So, if I want to make it look like a fan, that means if I want to say that as I move the wiper on this side, the fan speed should increase. Suppose for example, I have to, I have a challenge like that. So what to do? So in that case, we will stop the simulation now. In that case, what do I do? I will remove this connection and I will connect this into this terminal. Okay. We will connect this into this terminal. Right. So, the idea is when there is least resistance, the speed of the motor has to be maximum. Okay, so again we will delete this connection and we will connect this to the negative terminal. We will do that. Okay, now once we have done that, let us see how the thing moves. Okay, so as you can see, the speed is 0 right, right now. That means we have least, we have the highest resistance now at this point. And as we increase the position of the wiper, the speed of the fan is going to increase now. Okay, as you can see here, the speed of the fan is going to increase. Right? At the maximum position, the speed of the fan is the maximum. So this is the way in which you can change the speed of the fan based on the position of the wiper. As we can, as I remember, let you remember that on this particular potentiometer, this is called the potentiometer, this is how it looks like in the simulator, not how it looks like actually, but it, this potentiometer has got three terminals. It has got terminal number one, it has got wiper, and it has got terminal number two. Based on how you connect these uh, terminals to the battery and to the motor, the speed of the motor is going to decrease or increase. Okay, So, thank you for attending this video. If you are here for the first time onto my channel, please like, share and subscribe. I hope you have understood. I hope I have made it clear, clear to you how to create a circuit where we can connect a battery to a motor and control its speed. Thank you very much.